please give it up for Sabrina Jaleed, everybody. fucking baby was falling and still I didn't react. Uh, okay, okay, all right, this is good. Charles is so funny, I love it. This is a safety hazard. This is a problem and I like it. Um, my friends, I am from Toronto, Canada. So many people are from Toronto? Or just are like, we know that's a, where Drake's from. Yeah? <laughs> Uh, guys, I'm Drake. I'm pretty much Drake. I, it's so fucking cold. You're so good for coming here. It's so cold. And every time I say I'm cold, people are like, oh, come on, you're Canadian. I'm fucking human. <laughs> That's what I am. You don't do that in other situations. It's not like, mm, I'm starving. Come on, you're Somalian. <laughs> This is a crazy place. This is like the biggest, the, New York has the biggest egos in the world. No debate, just, I saw a homeless guy walking down the street being like, that Drake song, uh, sing that Drake song, uh, started from the bottom, now I'm here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. I was like, where did you start, buddy? <laughs> Turns out New Jersey, so <laughs> he had every right. Where's the camera that's filming this uh, live television? Everywhere. There? Everything? Everywhere. If it's Uncle Sam, but hipster style? <laughs> uh, this is like all of the extras from Girls in one. <laughs> yes. Lena Dunham started the applause break. Lena Dunham, ladies and gentlemen, Lena Dunham. <laughs> See, this is how believable it is that she's like, where? <laughs> Fucking where? I saw those untouched photos on Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> this sign, this sign, I mean, I don't mean to be, read into things, but this is a sign that there's controversy in the apartment. This is... <laughs> There's like one dude that's like, dude, I'll just write out the letters in pencil. And then the fucking asshole roommate is like, no, V is not like that. It's one degree less. <laughs> All right, Drew. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna move this here, because I'm dynamic. They call me the Canadian Dane Cook Lesbian Jalice. <laughs> on the streets. I got married recently, guys. So. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but the one annoying thing, every, uh, when you get married, um, people will, anyone you bump into, people will say, uh, How's married life? Everyone. Uh. How's married life? And same time, how's married life? <laughs> like it's like a kinky inside joke. <laughs> how's married life? You guys fisting each other? <laughs> and I know what they want me to say. What they want me to say is like, we finished Netflix! <laughs> <laughs> Which we did, we did do that. <laughs> but the point is like really, married life is the same shit as dating. It's the same shit except now the exit door to your relationship is pff, just sealed shut. <laughs> there's like a new door that you'll look at sometimes. Uh, but there's like a bouncer and a cover charge that's really vague. It's like, <laughs> It's either $800 or half of everything you own. <laughs> My in-laws are uh, mother and father-in-law. Cool. From the South. Cool. Go to church every Sunday. Cool. They're Republican. Cool. <laughs> I was the first lesbian girlfriend that my wife introduced to them. Could you imagine like, how terrifying 
disappointing that was for them. Like what they pictured to come to their house in Virginia that day. Just the first lesbian. <laughs> I've stolen your daughter's heart. And I built a deck out front. <laughs> I was gay so much sooner than I did. Everyone, right? We all should have. <laughs> like sometimes I'm at an airport bar and I'll like have a beer with like the opposite of me. The opposite of me and then we'll just, it's secrets there, right? Because they're safe, secrets are safe at an airport bar. And they will always ask me like two beers in, I'll be like, how did you know you were gay? <laughs> the opposite of me is like a fucking southern ghost. <laughs> and I, like, the real answer, I wish there was like a definite, like, well, my pubes came out and they were rainbow. <laughs> but like the real, the real answer is just like always and never. Like really gay shit happened to me, but I would forget it immediately. It was like gay memento. <laughs> so... Like, like, I should have fucking known. Like, every time uh, my friends suggested we practice making out, I would suggest we also practice fingering. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to be prepared or what? <laughs> If I knew I was gay when I was a tween, you know how amazing sleepovers would have been? <laughs> Truth or dare? Fucking dare. <laughs> Same dare as last week. Show me your tits, everyone. <laughs> Bring your mom down here. Let's play this game. <laughs> I mean, like, when I would have, I remember my friends would fall asleep during sleepovers. I would, like, just smell their hair. Just, I was, like, either a lesbian or a murderer. That's <laughs> worse. Uh, I had a hard time coming up. My dad's Muslim, uh, so now he expects me to get, like, ten wives. <laughs> I wanted to come out to my extended family for so long, but he was always like, oh, come on, keep it a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Secrets are cool, man. <laughs> so that I'm married now. It's her five-year plan with a secret. <laughs> I keep on showing up to family things with, like, my white best friend again. <laughs> she loves Ramadan. <laughs> Pretty soon we've got, like, a little kid best friend. <laughs> Um, you guys, put your hands together if you want kids eventually. Yeah. Yeah, right? Eventually. I mean, it keeps on getting pushed. I feel like by the time someone like you has kids, you'll be in like your late 60s. And I'm like, hey, it's just practical this way. We both need naps and diapers. <laughs> it's kinda, it kind of works if you did it that way. I'll, Later, I'll have kids. When I do have kids, the only thing that sucks about being gay is like, uh, the only way to have a baby that looks half like me and half like my wife, I need my brother's sperm. <laughs> cool. cool? Scientifically, that's cool. Scientifically? Science. Are you a science person, or that was just like your time, like, science? <laughs> sperm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that was the best reaction, though. I just did that uh, joke just not to fucking ruin it. But I put that joke stick in another audience's vagina. <laughs> and they did not say cool. <laughs> it was in the Upper West Side, and they said, oh. <laughs> they acted like I spilled my brother's sperm on them. <laughs> um, I asked my brother for it super cash. <laughs> How's your day? Can I have like a dollop of your jizz? <laughs> like an old song. And his real response was, uh, 
I just don't know how my future wife would feel about that. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how I feel about your future wife being such a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Super Angelese. Follow me on Twitter, you young <laughs> Super Angelese, everybody. <laughs>